Hello guys, it's Penguin Horse Gaming here. Um, just to do a quick thing on the Dimensional Doors mod. And I love this. It's just such a cool texture. Look at it. It's all wibbly. Anyway, uh, so this is a great mod and fairly useful if you know what you're doing. Um, so you, end, you start with three doors. Actually, there's a fourth as well, which I'll show you later. Uh, dimensional door, the warp door, and the unstable door. Unstable doors annoying and scary because it'll just take you to a random destination. Um, so it's got a little eye vendor in there, which is pretty cool. So don't worry about them too much. Um, warp doors and dimension doors are more important. It actually helps if you've seen the movie Inception um, because I'm going to explain it in terms of that. So a dimensional door, the iron one, will take you down a level into a pocket dimension, whereas a warp door will bring you up one. Uh, so, yep, yeah, there's also a trans-dimensional trapdoor. Just looks like a normal trapdoor. I need a block. Um, but you can place this in any dimension. Walk into it and it'll take you straight to the surface. So, you know, if you're in a scary dimension or whatever, you can just get straight out with that. That's quite useful. Uh, I'm not going to do crafting recipes as of yet. This is just a quick overview of it, really. I'll do a separate version of that. For that. Um, and so you'll find these... Um, spawning naturally in your world, um, they, they're just part of the world generation. You can get, they, they can be quite common, you know, there's one over there, one over there, it's, it depends. You can find, go for miles or chunks without seeing any. Um, so if we go into here, you see, notice how there's no door. Go through here, go through here, oh, hang on, there we go. You seem to be randomly there we go. Sort of it's fine. Oh, um. um. Um, and then you end up in what's called a pocket dimension. Now this is all made up with uh, stone bricks and stuff, and there will often be traps. And the further, and you can also get loot chests as well, so they're Goodies. quite good. So this doesn't really have anything. So we're going to go down one more level. If you notice down here, we had a wooden door, I think. In theory, yes, yeah, so a wooden door. So that will take you back up to the surface, up one level. This one will take you down. So there'll sometimes be traps, you know, TNT, pistons, that sort of thing. But the further down you go, the better the loot is. So, interesting to consider. Now, so here we go. Um, wait for it to generate a bit. There we go. And it's all done with this stone brick thing, which is quite cool. Um, down there is a hole. I don't think you want to fall down there. These are just sort of random pillars, really, I think. Doesn't seem to be anything. Do watch out for pressure plates and the like, because... Uh, they, uh, they can really mess up your day. But anyway, another thing I want to show you, if you die in a pocket dimension like this... Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, you, co you go to what's called Limbo, so, and you can get some quite good stuff. I've got some chests. particularly good stuff. Aqua Affinity. Mm -hmm. Poker Beans, yeah. Music Disc. So it's, 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 it's all good stuff, really. Um, not really sure how you get out of here, to be honest. Um, I'll just fly out. So anyway, that's that. Um, and if you die in Limbo, which I'll show you later, hopefully. No, yeah, you die in a pocket dimension. Die in a pocket dimension, sorry, yes. Uh, you go to Limbo, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then you get you go to Limbo, and then you have to... It's a scary dimension, and I'll, I'll explain it to one later, really. Scary. So yeah, go through the wooden door, takes you back up. And it'll produce a new door. Where where the original thing was? What uh, are you doing? It's slightly glitchy. Uh, I'm I, I'm doing like uh, I'm just setting up stuff like like an extra video for crafting recipes. Right. Okay. Uh, other stuff you get with the mod is a rift blade, which can act like a normal sword if you left click, but if you right click and hold it down, you can shoot at a portal, so you can chuck your enemies into there. If we go into here, we can find. Oh yeah, that's right. And then you're stuck in here, and there's no way out. That's what's known as a rift. Ooh, what happens now? Oh, I'm back to the surface. Oh, my bad. I thought there was no way out. Anywho. Ah, and these are called rifts, and you can get your rift remover, and just right click. Oh, I'll get rid of that. Okay, another fun thing to do with damage and doors. If you just head through here. Um... Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the this is a pocket dimension, and you can put all sorts of stuff here. So if you want storage space or whatever, you can just 
stick all that in there and then you can just hop straight back through here take you back to you to your original door that's the one we came out obviously walk doors they they can you can place them in a pocket dimension to get back to the surface and and stable doors they'll take you to a random destination another thing you can do with these is uh, create or oh, link link two doors uh, for which we're going to need some ender pearls as well um, there we go so you put one door down and then you've got stabilized rift signature you've got one of these one of them isn't stabilized this is just generally better uh, and then no nope, I like you put, right click on the ground anywhere you want to put a door so say rift signature stored hop over somewhere else and then say rift created and then notice how it's used one of the ender pearls and then you just plonk a door down on the spot where the rift is and when you go through here it'll just jump you over here creating a new door in the process so jump through here so it's, it's good if you want to just teleport long distances safely and you break them and then just remove the rift and it's all good so now we're going to go to limbo I think that, that would so if we head over to this one, this going into limbo never works well. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll explain all about that later. We're on easy. There we go. There's these weird monstery things called monoliths. They're quite scary. Go, go, go through. There we go. So yeah, we'll head through here. Climbing stairs, climbing stairs. And you notice on the mini map there's just this one little square and the rest of it's just void. So what happens here? Uh yeah, this stuff fabric of reality you can walk around on but you can fall through. Um and I oh, think now I'm now I'm stuck. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Um uh, not too sure to be honest. You fly? You're flying. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm flying. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, we're fixed. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we can come down these stairs. And all of these are randomly generated, so there'll be sort of different ones as you go. Oh, just another door. How original. So I think we'll just keep going down. Doobity doobity doo. I'll pause it and come back when there's something interesting. Okay, you see this sort of black blob, it, it's it's moving, that's what's known as a monolith. It's a scary red eye thing, and it gets... It, yeah, there's two of them. They're essentially just big oblong things, and they've got a scary eye. And if you, I think if you hang around them too much, they can kill you. Which obviously is not good. There's quite a few here, and it's going all purple. <laughs> should, should I be concerned? I'm not, I'm not too sure. Probably. Let's just switch over to survival. Oh, what happened there? I think I just died. I think I think you a, die immediately. I'm a, immediately. Um, yes, you are now in the. Yes, and you can see in the top right, I am falling. Um, um, switch on to creative oh, because yes. uh, I think uh, I think you land with quite a jolt. Oh no! Wait, you don't get you don't get fall damage in limbo, which is quite handy. So here we go. That's a lot of monoliths. There's a big scary eye up there. Um, so this is Limbo, this is Unraveled Fabric as it's known. That's a monolith stuck in the ground. And essentially, this is Limbo. There's nothing here except this Unraveled Fabric and these scary monsters. And the exit. And the exit, which is a puddle of sludgy stuff right at the bottom. So you've got to get down to there. Um, so yeah, I will come back once I'm down to the bottom because it's usually quite a long way. Okay, we're back. Um, and I've just found the bottom, there's this weird brown sludgy stuff, you jump into that and you get back to the surface at a random location. Weird looking stuff. So you hit that and then you jump back into your world. Somewhere random as far as I know. Wait for it. Wait for it. It crashes now. Okay, we're, we're now falling. Um, this could take a while. Um, but yeah, so we're in a random location, 